Imagine being in a writer's room, bouncing ideas off other writers and authors, and not staring at a blank page feeling stuck or without inspiration. That's what AI is like for me when I need to brainstorm, ideate, or just not stare at that evil blinking cursor daring me to write something, anything. And one of the great ways to get a big kickstart on your book project is to use AI to outline your book. But maybe you don't know what tool to use or even how to use them. Well, if you're looking for that support, this video is for you. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad, founder of Book Launchers, where we have courses and full service offerings to help you write, publish, and promote a nonfiction book. Now, to be clear, before we dive in and I show you how these two tools can help, I want you to know that I'm not suggesting you write your book with AI. Yes, you can do it. Yes, it's faster. But there are three concerns I have with using AI to be the writer of your book. The first is you can't file for copyright protection if you generate your manuscript with AI. If you're a thought leader or a subject matter expert, you are likely writing your book to create intellectual property you can profit from, and you want to protect your ideas, experience, and advice. The second reason is that I've yet to see a first draft of a book written by AI that was even remotely good. To create a decent draft using AI, you need to be very skilled at prompting and do it in small chunks. You have to enjoy prompting more than you enjoy writing to be really patient and persistent enough with this. We had an author, this is just our secret, okay? We had an author who was an AI expert use AI AI to write her book. And it read like those visions you see on TV where someone took some drugs and went on a colorful trip that had some things based in reality, but the rest is like, huh? I even asked her, would you ever use Odyssey to describe your life? And she laughed and said no. And I said, it was in the first section of your book three times. <laughs> and the third reason is that the very thing that makes your book something people want to read is you, the human you. You'll see a bit what I mean about that in a second. Those are the reasons why I wouldn't use it to write my book, but AI is a great tool to get you going, and I love it for ideation and kickstarting a book so you can take a big leap in a short amount of time. For today, I'm going to focus on book outlining, and there are two tools I like to use for nonfiction book outlining. One of them I actually think is substantially better than the other but you can tell me what you think. The first we're gonna talk about is ChatGPT. This is GPT-4. The other is Dibly Create. It's a new writing software tool that I like. All right, let's start with ChatGPT. Yes, there's tons of prompts available out there to start with, but I like to just ask Chatty, my nickname for ChatGPT, what it needs from me. So here I go. I just pop open a new chat and ask Chatty what it needs from me, and I get this beautifully organized list of items. Books mean subject or theme, target audience, purpose and goals, key points and messages, and so forth. <laughs> this list is like Chatty is on one of my book positioning calls, chatting with an author, considering working with book launchers to write, publish, and promote their book. This is all the stuff I ask on those calls. But the next details are more like the things our writers or our book writing coaches would review with our authors. Structure preference, research, angles, length. Next, I proceed to address each item in detail. If this was really a book I was going to write, and maybe I should, you can tell me in the comments below, if this should be a book. It's already kind of a course we offer, Book Marketing Magic, which you can learn about at bookconchers.com forward slash magic. So maybe I should actually create this book. Okay, but if this really was a book I was going to write, I would have this material ready to go and I would spend more time and effort giving details. For your sake, I just hammered it out quick and simple so you could see an example in action. We'll just fast forward my typing to get to the response. After a lot of typing, I hit return and wait. Chatty got to work and in seconds starts to give me an outline for a book along with a suggested title. In my head, I was thinking if I did write this book, it would be a shorter one and probably more focused on being an ebook. In fact, I actually might make this book because as I was doing this, I thought this might be a great supplemental piece to our book marketing magic course. Regardless, here's the outline Chatty suggested. To be honest, I was really underwhelmed by this. Here's the title, how to market your book using other people's audiences. The title? Well, it's definitely SEO friendly, but that's a snooze fest. And that definitely reflected in the content of the rest of the book. Looking at this, it is the opposite of our hashtag no boring books. This is in fact a boring book. I don't wanna write this book. Chapter one, understanding your position. And so, and you can read the rest of them there. Now there's two things here though. Sometimes when you are having trouble defining what you want, the easier thing to do is define what you don't want and extrapolate what you do want from there. So in seeing this, I can see more clearly the book I 
I want because that is not the book I want. Second, when Chatty gives you crap, you can tell Chatty, that sucked and I need you to do better. And so that's what I did. Now, this is something I am way more interested in. Audience hijack, snatching success from other people's followers, a not so secret guide for nonfiction authors to make some noise and sales. Okay, now I'm excited about this book. And look at these spicy chapter titles. Undercover author, spying on your book's potential, matchmaker madness, finding your book's soulmates. Okay, that's better. But if you don't like the theme or this inspires a new angle, tell Chatty and you can keep refining it. The next piece I want some support on with this content is to have some potential research and resources. So I would ask Chatty for that specifically. And as you can see, Chatty pumps out a list for me. You can then ask for websites, contact information, or other details, and Chatty may or may not be able to produce that for you too. I would then go chapter by chapter asking for suggestions, and then copy and paste this outline into Word and start finessing and writing from here. Within less than 30 minutes, I have something really substantial to start with, and I'm actually kind of excited about this. All right, and so that was cool, but I haven't shown you Dibley Create yet, so hold on and watch that part and let me know in the comments below which one you think is cooler. Now Dibley Create is a paid tool. They have a free writing tool, but if you want what I'm about to show you, then you need the paid tool, which is $22 a month with a free trial. If you decide to check it out, our affiliate link is booklaunchers.com forward slash Dibley. Now of course, an affiliate link means we get a small referral fee if you join their paid service. And this is an example of me doing something I talked about in a video on using affiliate links to make money, which I will link to at the end. Get into Dibley and meet Kip. They're chatting equivalent, but Kip is a little bit more refined. Check this out. Hold on. Before we do that, in their free version, they have a non-fiction book template. This is kind of cool if you want to get your thoughts down with some sort of a guide. I started typing stuff in there thinking that I would be able to connect that over to the Kip tool for outlining, but then I couldn't, so I wasted time on that. But to then save time, because this video is already taking hours and hours to make for you, I guess that's my not so subtle way to let you know that a like and a subscribe and a comment is a great way to pay me back for all the hours that I put into this video for you. But to save time, I copy and pasted what I wrote into Chatty, but I took the title I liked from the second revision of Chatty. So I'm giving Kip a leg up over Chatty in that I gave it a cooler starting point to go with. But let's take a look at this, because I find this much easier to use than just staring at a blank screen and asking Chatty to give me what it needs in order to prompt it. Because you can see they have it all set up to outline a book for you, including different genres. So my, for my children authors and my fiction friends, they have tools for you. But of course we're nonfiction, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. And then it says type in your estimated chapters, your word count, and so forth. I'm doing a short book, but if I was doing a self-publish and succeed type book, we're looking at 65,000 words in 18 chapters, just for your reference. I type in all the information and then it says it can take up to 10 minutes, but it was more like one minute and then voila, it drops down a book proposal like document with objectives, audience, competitor books, and so much more content. Then it breaks the chapters down in such a deep granular level. And without me even asking, Kip has provided suggested resources for each chapter to supplement the material in the chapter. I also don't have to cut and paste. I can just use their little clip tool and it plops right into the document and I can write my book right within Dibley Create. Dibley Create has a lot of other cool features. And I know that one of our SPS Live students used it and found it a bit buggy when she was writing her book, but I've not had issues with it for the things that I've used it for, but I haven't sat down and wrote an entire book within it. I've mostly played with its features and played with Kip and it's great for that. Now I have a really robust outline to work from, still a bit dull. So I have to go and punch it up so it fits with my theme, but this gives me such a strong starting point. No matter what, there's no reason at all why you can't get your book written this year when you can get a head start on a great outline with AI. Give it a try and if you need help writing the book, we have our upcoming course, Self Publish and Succeed Live, where you can write your book with support and accountability over 12 weeks. We also have incredible writing coaches to coach you in our services, or we have professional writers who will sit down at the keyboard typing it out so you don't have to. No matter what, there's no excuse for not getting that book done this year. And now I know you want that video on affiliate income as an author, which is right here. And this video over here is the latest and greatest from the channel, which is sure to surprise and delight you as well. No matter what one you click on, I'm excited to see you there. Please do say hello.